Right at 9 on KCTS 9 Seattle. I tell you, it's all her own doing. She's lying, that's all, the same as she did in the courtroom. I think I ought to get a doctor, though. You can tell me here, for God's sake, what did he say to you? What's radiation treatment? by a grant from Mobile Corporation. Good evening and welcome to Mystery. I'm Vincent Price. Tonight, part three of our intriguing tale of deception, Praying Mantis. I just finished reading Praying Mantis and I'm trying to decide where to put it among my vast collection of mystery books. Shall I place it with the crime novels or maybe it should go alongside of the psychological romances? Hmm. Yes. And that reminds me of a great deal of mail which we've had from loyal mystery viewers asking how do we decide what stories fall in the genuine category of a mystery. Critics, authors, readers and viewers have vastly different ideas about what constitutes a mystery. Some argue that the classic whodunit is the only mystery. Many stoutly justify classifying tales of the supernatural within the realm of the mystery. <laughs> Still others say that the maiden in distress gothic tales of suspense should also be included. <laughs> the debate is not new, and no doubt it will continue. I think that my favorite label is the one Dorothy Sayers gave to her last full-length Lord Peter Whimsey novel, Busman's Holiday. She called it a love story with detective interruptions. Indeed, these pigeonholes so carefully devised in recent years, detective story, thriller, tale of suspense, and psychological novel are quite meaningless. If we try to label some of the books included in the Howard Haycraft Ellery Queen definitive library of mystery fiction, Dickens, Bleak House, Hugo's Les Miserables, Dostoevsky's Crime and Punishment, Dreiser's An American Tragedy, and Faulkner's Intruder in the Dust. Perhaps the best way to answer the question, what is a mystery, is the one suggested by Dillis Wynne in her now classic mystery reader's companion, Murder, Inc. Miss Wynne neatly sums it up. Any book that focuses on crime is a mystery. So readers should stop quibbling. This endless discussion of what belongs is really unnecessary. There's room for almost any style as long as it concerns an evil. Now, few would quibble that tonight's story, Praying Mantis, is a mystery. Tonight in part three, strange events continue to take place which establish Praying Mantis solidly within the best mystery traditions. It combines the analytical deceptions of the Romain Policier, the psychological tension of the best suspense story, and the evil of the thriller. Praying Mantis, part three. <laughs> 